August 10, Saturday, the Feast of St. Lawrence, Deacon and Martyr. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord A Grain of Feet In view of the mystery of His coming death, Jesus sketches out the paradox of life through death using the image of the wheat grain. When the farmer sows, the grain is buried in the ground, it dies. The parable focuses on the productivity of a grain of wheat. It bears much fruit if it is sown, is alone if unsown. The parable is an illustration of Jesus' own faith. Before his passion and death, Jesus is limited to his earthly ministry. But after the resurrection, his life gains a cosmic dimension. The Holy Spirit is sent, and the disciples are given a deeper knowledge of Jesus. They are also inspired to spread and give witness to the gospel to all peoples, Jews and pagans alike. The grain of wheat, Jesus, that was sown in Israel produces an abundant harvest among the Samaritans and the Gentiles. The imagery of the grain of wheat also illustrates the life of Florence, deacon and martyr of Rome. Tertullian writes that the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christianity. The church of the first millennium was born of the blood of martyrs. The church of the new millennium should also be crowned with the heroic virtues of men and women. <music>